Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and I'm the Science Field Development Officer at NGFL Cymru. I'm here today to show you how I use Prezi to create interesting mind maps for your students. So go to prezi.com and the first thing you will need to do is to register, but I'm already logged in and I'm going to show you quickly this kinetic theory mind map that I created for one of the resources I'm developing. You can view your mind map as uh, you can view your Prezi uh, in full screen by going on to this area and clicking on full screen. And now you can see uh, a nice overview of the whole mind map if you just scroll with your mouse outward or inward. And that's the way you zoom in in Prezi. But also you can assign a path to your presentation through Prezi and then go to the different parts of your presentation by clicking on this arrow here at the bottom and at any point you can zoom out and zoom back in and if you want you can also go backward by clicking on this left arrow but let's show you how to create your own Prezi's so if you go to your Prezi and then create a new Prezi by clicking on that button. We'll just call it NGFL Cymru. Then you can create the Prezi by clicking the button New Prezi. It will load up your Prezi editor and you are given a little preview of uh, this tool, which is called the Zebra tool. Now, if we click, any, click anywhere on the Prezi, on this canvas, we can then add text and change it to the title text or the body text. We can change its position. We can also have bullet points. Once you've created the text, click on it and the zebra appears. If you click on the center of the zebra, you can reposition your text wherever you want. If you click on this uh, circle, just outside the center and then you drag it you can enlarge your text and if you click and uh, then move the outside of the zebra tool you can change the tilt you can rotate your text which is quite interesting then this will allow you to add different things to your Prezi. For example, we could click on the colors and fonts and change the, out, the, the um, outlook of our Prezi. And uh, we can also add a frame to our Prezi, so to various parts of our Prezi. And the frame will uh, also allow us to group different things that we want to show in a Prezi. We also can allow, uh, we can also introduce shapes like this arrow shape and freeform shapes. And also a nice highlighter that will allow, you, will allow us to edit the text and highlight different parts of the text like so. We can click the undo button if we're not happy about what we've just done. So this is basically how you create a Prezi. Um, and the main structure. Once you're ready to start, you can assign uh, the path that you want uh, uh, your Prezi to uh, perform. So you can click that to be the first step, second and third. And when you then uh, will preview your Prezi, once you've created it, as you click those arrows that I was showing you before, that would be the sequence of events. Why not creating a template for a mind map and letting your students finish it up? Why not then have the same template uh, on an interactive whiteboard and then allow your, ch your children, your pupils to give you feedback and uh, add the bits that they've also added to their mind maps and therefore you end up with a mind map with contributions from the whole class. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very short tutorial and that you will use Prezi with your classes in a creative way. Thank you and goodbye from NGFL Cymru.